What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of this Nike by You Dunk Low in this Leonardo Ninja Turtles colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Move Insoles. So Move Insoles is one of the hottest brands in the insole space and their products are designed and tested by pro athletes such as Damian Lillard and Chris Paul of the NBA. And while they're more known for their performance oriented insoles, they also have this one which is the all day insole which is meant to be worn casually and for everyday sneakers. So this honestly is one of the most technologically packed insoles I've ever seen. First off, it's primarily constructed out of Move Recharge Foam, which is what gives this insole that impact protection, shock absorption, and bounce back feeling. And you can see on the back half of the insole, we have this TPU plate, which helps to cradle your foot and give it that added stability. And there's other features, including this active point technology, which gives you that added protection on the heel where you need it the most. So the list goes on and on and on. There's so many different features on these insoles. I'll leave it for the website to explain it fully. So if you guys are curious to try a pair for yourself, I'll link their website, their social media, all that good stuff down below. So check them out, try a pair for yourself. Let me know what you think and let them know that I sent you. So this right here is my latest Nike by You, formerly known as Nike ID creation on this Dunk Low, which is inspired by the look of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles leader and my favorite turtle, Leonardo. So a few months ago, I was getting hyped for the Mutant Mayhem movie. And let me tell you, I watched that and I really, really loved it. But since I was in the turtle mood, I came across these Nike by You Dunk Lows, which is on the Nike Canada website. And I just randomly discovered that I was able to put together a colorway that looked like a Ninja Turtle. So this pair again is on Nike.ca. And the official product name of this shoe is the Nike Dunk Low Unlocked by You. And this is a more premium version compared to the normal Nike Dunk Low that's also offered on the Nike by You platform. So that regular one retails for 160 Canadian dollars, whereas this one retailed for 190 instead. So the equivalent in US dollars is 140 USD. So for this more premium version, they give you a new set of colors, new materials and patterns. So it's definitely a step up and more elevated compared to the more standard materials found on that $160 version. And from the moment I clicked purchase to the time that it was delivered to my door, it took about just over five weeks time. So keep in mind, this is a custom one of one product. You literally pick the specs, submit it, and then the factory gets to making your individual custom order. So for a four or five week time period, that's actually pretty good. It's not bad whatsoever. So jumping straight into the details, on the toe box, you'll see this is covered in what Nike calls Croc suede. So you can see this is a heavily embossed suede, and while it's not real Croc skin, it definitely has a strong resemblance to it. I opted for the sesame colorway, which I was inspired by the turtle's front shell. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have more of that same Croc suede, but instead of sesame, the color for this panel was moss, and this obviously was inspired by the turtle's skin. So we have the same material covering the eyelets, and then beneath this on the mid panel, we have more of that sesame colored Croc suede. And then overlaid on top of this, we have a tumbled leather swoosh, and I opted for a racer blue color, mimicking the look of Leonardo's bandana. Moving downwards, we have more of that moss colored Croc suede, which wraps around the bottom of the heel. Above this, we have more of that sesame suede. And then on the top of the heel, we have tumbled black leather with Nike branding embroidered across in sesame. As far as the laces go, I opted for these flat style laces in this tonal moss color. And attached to the laces, they also come with this lace jewel or lace dubre. So there was three different options, but I opted for a plain silver color. And this was inspired by Leonardo's katanas. Underneath this, the tongue is entirely constructed out of leather, and I went for a more tonal look in this moss color. And on the very top, we have this racer blue colored tag with this Nike branding in black. The interior of the shoe is lined in a moss colored mesh. And then as far as the insoles go, there's no options here. So every shoe comes with this foam line insole. It's covered in a black colored textile on the top, and we have Nike branding pressed onto the heel in white. So the upper of these dunks sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, and I chose a white color inspired by the look of Leonardo's eyes. And then underneath this, we have this translucent gum rubber outsole. This I drew inspiration from the turtle's back shell, and this outsole is your normal dunk outsole, so we still have that same circular pivot point on the forefoot and Nike branding right in the center. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these dunks. And for those wondering about sizing, so my foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in my normal Nike sportswear dunk size, which is a size 10, and they definitely run a little bit more snug than some of the retail dunks that are found in stores. So I found the toe box of the shoe brand a little bit more narrow than usual. So because of that, I had some pinching and pressure around this area where the laces start, and a little bit as well on the side toe box where my pinky toe is. So I feel like if you have a narrow or normal width foot and you like more of a snug one-to-one -one fit, true to size should be fine for you. 
But if your feet are a little bit more on the wider side, and if you have a really wide foot, then I'd probably recommend going up a half size. So for me, the length of the shoe was fine. So I'm kind of curious to see if over time the shoe will break in. Hopefully it does, because as it is right now, I either have to replace the insoles or just wear some really thin socks to avoid that pressure on my foot. Moving on to the comfort, so these feel pretty much like any other Dunk Low. It feels pretty flat, firm, and low to the ground, very stable as well. There's not too much from a softness and step in comfort perspective. But for a casual use shoe, Dunks are perfectly fine. Just don't expect anything too plush, too pillowy. So if you have your expectations in check, I think these will be a perfectly fine sneaker. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on this shoe, so first off, material quality I was pretty happy with. The suede, like I mentioned, has this nice embossed look to it, and while this suede isn't the best suede I've ever seen, you can tell that it is a genuine suede material, and it's definitely a step up over that plastic leather that they give us on a lot of Nike Sportswear general releases. And in terms of the tumbled leather used on the swoosh and the back tab, this, while it was artificially tumbled, it again felt pretty genuine, and I was pretty happy with it. And in terms of the build and the craftsmanship, this is a custom one of one shoe. And I think the factory that put this together in Asia did a pretty good job. I really had no flaws at all on this pair. The panels were cut in place consistently. Stitch job was pretty much flawless. No glue stains, no paint stains, nothing like that. So visually speaking, I was very impressed with how these turned out. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet. I'll lace them up for you and I'll show you guys how these look. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a huge, huge part of my childhood. In fact, the original movie from 1990, that was the very first movie I ever watched in the movie theater as a kid. And even though I'm fully grown now and I'm a dad myself, TMNT is still something I'm always down to get hyped for. So I'm thinking hopefully down the line maybe a Kith collaboration, that I would totally go crazy for. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting, this is probably the best I'm gonna get. Though it's not perfect, I think the shoe really resembles Leonardo, and though the colors aren't exact, I think the options for the colors also include red, purple, and orange. So if you're a bigger fan of Raph, Donnie, or Mikey, then there's a high likelihood that you can make their pairs as well. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about this Leonardo Nike by You Dunk Low? What are your thoughts on the color choices, the execution, the materials, all that stuff? Drop your comments down below, and let me know who is your favorite Ninja Turtle. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So thanks so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.